Right, the other day I made a wood burning stove out of a old beer keg or a stainless steel beer keg or barrel or whatever you want to call them and I want to actually make some legs for it and I've had many of these over the years and collect these up because they're very good steel these weightlifting bars and I've always wondered what I could actually use this Acme type thread here for well I've made my legs out of these for the actual stove um, I just sawed off a length of um, the thread and then I put it up in the lathe with a backstop and um, the actual stop for the carriage and I faced four legs off all to the same length exactly the same length so if you're new to engineering and you want to know exactly how to um, face something off all to the same length you can do batch work you buy these on eBay, they're um, blank 2MT arbors. This is a 3MT arbor um, for the Chinese mini lathe. And they're soft head, but they're also soft on the um, whole length of it really. So you can actually drill them and put a thread in them. So on this end here, I put them in the lathe chuck like that there. There's a 10 millimeter thread hole up to a certain point here and what I do is extend that hole to about here and then there's only about say half an inch of solid um, bar there at the end and then I drill and tap that end there for um, different size studs. And if you make one it's best to actually put the smallest diameter um, brass um, rod in there you can or maybe just a screw as long as this piece here is smaller in diameter than the actual piece that you're chucking up or machining on the lathe then it's okay because this part here like I say can come down inside the jaws the workpiece is larger so the jaws clamp on the workpiece rather than this piece. And these are really handy because you can make up all different size studs for them using the same thread. You can make um, larger diameter ones if you actually needed to have something a bit larger. But I found that I can actually use this size stud for all the jobs that I actually do. And the stud diameter that I do have in this one is about 4mm in diameter. And on the Myford last night I used this one as it is without the thread in there. Just put that up in the um, spindle. This one here is behind the jaws and when this one was in the jaws there was about um, that much sticking out obviously. And it was just right to actually face off so you can actually um, just use them like that if you want to as well and i'll show you exactly what i mean in a moment on the myford so after i faced the legs off i drilled and tapped them for six millimeter thread and i got some stainless steel bolts and cut some stainless steel thread off and loctited that in the ends with loctite 63a and then the part there screws onto it and what I like then is when it's actually on the base of the um, wood stove I've got adjustment on here to get the stove level so they make brilliant adjustable legs and one of the fortunate things that happened when I um, came to actually put these on on the base of the rim of the actual wood burning stove or the beer barrel there was already some five millimeter holes four of them so all that i had to do was to tap them for six millimeter thread for these to go in and it is actually rare for things to actually work out like that in engineering normally things go wrong or you have to work out different problems but there was four holes on the base of the um, beer barrel and they were all equally spaced so they worked out excellent for this um, project 
So always make sure that you clean the taper inside the spindle here. I use a pull through as well as an air line to make sure that there's no swarf in there. And then load the two empty taper. And then the workpiece goes up against that stop. And then I've set the saddle stop so that every time I face off, they'll be exactly the same length. 